Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on how the new Loki series sets up the new for Love and Thunder movie. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So we don't know too much about the Disney Plus series Loki yet, but we do know some little facts. The first one is going to be coming in spring 2021. We know it stars Tom Hiddleston as Loki. And it's also going to be continuing on the story of what we saw at Avengers Endgame when he grabbed hold of the Tesseract and was able to escape, setting up essentially this new timeline, which means Loki um, doesn't basically die in Infinity War, but also at the same time, it means he wasn't affected by the events of For the Dark World, For Ragnarok, and also um, Infinity War. So that means he's a very different character, and he's going to be apparently going through time, mixing things up, there was that concept art showing him off in like 1970s New York, and I think that could be an interesting thing. But all the new rumours and stuff going around at the minute about this series seem to be that this time change could really affect what's going on in the upcoming movie For Love and Thunder, which is going to be coming out in November 2021, a few months after the series. And there's a lot of expectations that that Loki series is going to set up that Thor movie. So there looks to be a couple of ways this is being done. First off, in the new Four Love and Thunder movie, Jane Foster is going to become Four. She's going to have hold of the hammer. We saw this at San Diego Comic Con when she was holding the hammer. Then we have to question how does she get hold of the hammer? Because in the main storyline, obviously Hela um, destroyed the um, hammer in Four Ragnarok. But obviously that wasn't the end of the story because in Endgame they went back in time, grabbed the hammer, brought it forward in time, battled with um, Thanos, Captain America used it, all great, they went back in time and put it back. Now the thing is with this, is that it leaves a massive gaping hole of what happened with the hammer. Maybe, for example, in Loki's time zone, that doesn't happen, so therefore the hammer stays there and ends up with Jane Foster, and that's going to set up that whole thing. We really don't know. I mean, the fact that this series is happening before the movie, I think is a good thing, and I think it would really help set up what's going to be happening in that one. But obviously we don't know anything yet. It's just, this is just purely speculation i do think that's definitely going to be an interesting way for them to go forward obviously bringing back the hammer and all the rest of it and it's what basically everything's been mixed up everyone that's happening for no longer exists the fact that we even saw loki die in infinity war then has been brought back who knows but i'd love to know your thoughts on this theory in the comments below go check us out over at what's on disneyplus.com like follow and subscribe and i shall see you guys in another video laters mm -hmm.